Hey there everyone! Welcome to ModiMate's step-by-step -step tutorial series. We are walking you through the process of making a ModiMate model from your very first clicks through to a finished model that gives you instant DWGs, renderings, and quantity estimates. The first clicks are real simple, so we'll go through them pretty fast. First things first, sign into account.modimate.com and click on Download ModiMate to get the latest version. Sometimes, when you log into ModiMate, you will also see a pop-up that says a new version is available. We encourage downloading those latest versions because we are releasing features on a monthly cadence, and these next features are pretty big and ambitious. Once you've downloaded ModiMate, you're going to be logging into its desktop client and coming to a main menu and clicking New Project. Here you're in a perspectival 3D scene. This is a blank ModiMate project. And as you know from other tutorial videos, you can orbit by right-clicking and dragging, panning by middle-clicking and dragging, and zooming by scrolling. It's all about the mouse when it comes to camera navigation. So for this project, we're going to be importing a background image and tracing over it because it's very common in architecture that you have a hand sketch or existing conditions drawings or a sketch that you recently did in a different piece of software. And all of those things can be converted to images and imported into ModiMate. We use the background image tool here. And then we click a place in the scene for the image to live and a direction the image should look. In this case, vertical for a floor plan. The next step will be to pop up a window and let you browse to the image on your computer. I have that on my second monitor. So I'm picking the image and clicking open. Look at that, the image was imported. Now the scale is kind of arbitrary because every image has a different scale and DPI. Some images come in with a scale, but many don't. We encourage a kind of low-tech low calculator-based approach to getting a scale. In this case, the process is kind of simple. All you have to do is measure the largest known dimension in your plan, or at least a large dimension. For example, I know this dimension is 12 foot four, I believe. Let me double check that in my images real quick. It's, I apologize, 14 foot six. So the way I can uh, create a scale factor is to draw a line over the exact same dimension that I expect to be 14 foot six. In this case, this dimension here is supposed to be 14 foot six. But when I select this vertex and look at the uh, dimension string that is explained about the neighboring edge, I see seven foot two and a half. That's not 14 foot six. Fortunately, we can just run the calculator app and do a bit of simple math to find our scale factor. Let's figure out the drawn, the measured length in uh, fractional in, uh, feet and inches. So 2.5 inches divided by 12 is, this is the number of feet in the remainder plus seven. This is how many feet long this master bedroom is 7.2083333 we want it to be 14 foot 6 so the simple calculation to be done is 14 and a half feet divided by 7.2083 the scale factor for this drawing should be 2.01156 i'm going to copy the first many digits of this let's say six digits and I will paste it into the property of the image. So to apply a scale factor to this image, you can select it, then you see a scale property in the corner, and you can highlight and paste or type your own scale factor for the image. When you press enter, you will find that the image grows to by the, fra by the factor that you uh, typed into the scale field. In this case, 2.01156 scale should mean that we've just grown this, this image so that the master bedroom's long dimension is 14.5. Let's give it a look. 14 foot six. Yeah, there we go, 14 foot six. Looking like a great measurement, this image is now correctly scaled and ready for tracing. If I don't, if I placed it in a place that's too far from the origin, I'm happy with this, but I can select this image and use the move tool to move it closer to the origin uh, I kind of like this distance. That way the lines are not in my model, but I can still kind of see the axes nearby and r maintain a sense of orientation in the scene. In the next video, we're going to start tracing this image to lay out our floor plan to get it ready for elevating into the third dimension.
Catch you there.